Hi, I'm Suzanne Hogan, currently the chair of the Drug-Free Queen Anne's Coalition. And today we're talking about substance abuse prevention efforts around our uh, surrounding counties and the work of the Tri-County Prevention Project. And with me is Mr. Vernon Spriggs. So Vernon, can you um, introduce yourself and um, tell our viewers a little bit about who you are, where you work, and what you do? Okay. Um, I'm Vernon Spriggs. And I am the prevention coordinator for Caroline County Health Department. Mm -hmm. And um, just just uh, come on board with them back in March. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of new to the county, um, not new to prevention, but mm -hmm. um, basically I'm there to learn and to support the MSPF process. Where were you before you came to Caroline County? Dorchester County Health Dor Department. Were you, were you working in prevention there? I was working in prevention as the prevention specialist there mm -hmm. under um, Irvina Johnson mm -hmm. and uh, Sandy Wilson. Okay. Now, the the Caroline County has been part of the um, Tri-County Prevention Project. Do you all have a drug-free coalition in Caroline County? Yes, um, drug-free Caroline County Coalition. <laughs> Is that what it, the drug, yes. drug free Caroline coalition? Coalition. Okay. Yes. So, um, what what kinds of things does it do, and when does it meet, and how can folks get involved? Well, what we're doing now, we are supporting the um, MSPF process, which is a mandate from the state. Mm -hmm. um, in particular, we've been working on our assessment plan and our implementation plan, mm -hmm. which we just gotten approved. Oh, great. So now we're able to begin for implementation of the um, MSPF. And for people who don't know, the MSPF is the... It's the Maryland Mer Strategic Prevention Framework. State Incentive it is. Grant. It is. So it's SPF SIG, which in Maryland is primarily focused on underage drinking, is yes, it not? it is. Right, so, so all of the counties across the state are, have been looking at how to um, specialize or localize underage drinking prevention in their own communities, right? Correct. So, and that's what you're saying, Caroline County's coalition just got approval for its plan? Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. Um, is Be The Wall part of what you all are gonna be doing in Caroline County? Be The Wall will be a part, be a part of um, our efforts, in particular um, as it relates to um, the adults, the parents, being that wall between alcohol and their um, children. Uh, do you have some upcoming events or some upcoming plans? Um, um, as of today, we've been working and talking about planning a um, grand launch. A launch event. Um, mm -hmm. hopefully, um, hopefully in August, mm -hmm. um, centering in Denton mm -hmm. and also in the Federalsburg, Preston area, and then um, getting around to the back to school nights to try oh, to great. get that exposure. Mm -hmm. I know the, the back to school nights have been a big part of what the Queen Anne County's uh, Drug Free Coalition has been working on for a number of years. And we've, we started small and we've been able over the years to really feel like that's one of the most impactful nights that we have. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, it's great to hear that you guys are gonna be working your back to school nights too. It's yes. one of those rare nights of the year when you get a, such a great cross section of parents and kids. Mm -hmm. Um, if folks are interested in learning more about the work of the Queen of the Caroline County mm -hmm. Drug Free Coalition, where where do they who do they contact? Um, are there social is there social media sites that they can access? How do they how do they get involved? Well, right now our website is being revamped, so uh, we'll have that up and running. Hopefully, um, hopefully by the end of um, June, early July. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are looking to also um, get a presence on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, at this particular time, in order to contact us for events, one, we do have a monthly coalition meeting. Okay, great. It's held every first Tuesday of the month, mm -hmm. um, usually around 12, from 12 to 1. And our present location has been um, color and clay, if I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly. But uh, we're going to change locations to the... Um, Caroline County Library, the mm -hmm. Denton Library. So hopefully uh, we'll begin that. I believe it's gonna be the second Tuesday in the month of July, but I'm not certain because I'm not sure where the 4th of July fits around that. Right. But nevertheless, it is standard um, the second Tuesdays of every month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for more information, they can contact our MSPF coordinator, mm -hmm. Tony Giannato, mm -hmm. at the um, health department. The telephone number there will be 410-479-1111. Mm -hmm. 
on 3501 mm -hmm. and um, call him and ask for any information mm -hmm. pertaining to the coalition, how it works, how mm -hmm. you can get involved, mm -hmm. and things of that sort. And I can also be reached at that same number mm -hmm. if they have any questions. Um, what's the makeup of your coalition right now? I mean, do you, is there, is there a particular group that you might want to see more representation from? I mean, if you could make an appeal mm -hmm. to um, folks to, to join your coalition, um, uh, you know, who, who would you like to see at the table and, uh, and, and who is already there? I mean, who, who, who are you working with and who would you love to have coming as well? Our current makeup includes the Board of Ed, um, some um, past members of the Board of Ed, teachers, counselors, mm -hmm. also some business, business, meet, uh, business um, members. Mm -hmm. Um, some of our county officials. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have, and also our police department, mm -hmm. we do have a wide variety of representation. However, we would like to see more parents mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. um, again, at our meetings, we have a good array of um, food, nice, oh. <laughs> a nice array of food so you can come and get your lunch on. Oh, that's great. And enjoy us, and join us with some um, conversation and some mm -hmm. good food. Mm -hmm. um, we don't prolong the time, so again, it is an hour, and that's it. So mm -hmm. know that if you come in at 12, you will be concluding by 1 o'clock. Oh, that's great, because mm -hmm. I, I know that sometimes people do, with volunteer efforts, do worry about the time commitment right. and keeping to schedules and so forth. So it sounds like they could potentially have their lunch, even if they're working. Mm -hmm. If they're working in the Denton area, they might be able to come over, right. join in your all's meeting, and not necessarily even lose their lunchtime, they could get, get their lunch in as well. Right. So, Another thing, uh, we are looking to expand the opportunities for meeting in the Federalsburg, Preston area. Mm -hmm. um, I know with the um, HES grant that is coming into fruition, the, the, the HES grant. Now, don't ask me what HES <laughs> means. I believe it means Health Enterprise Zones. Okay. I believe that's what it means. Okay. But nevertheless, with that, they're going to be looking toward opening up a health facility, a medical facility mm -hmm. in the Federalsburg area. So hopefully, maybe we can partner uh, with that particular um, site to offer um, a meeting a month, mm -hmm. just for those res residents there who can't make it, right. you know, to Denton. Right. And then also, we have some other outlying areas. Um, that may not be as accessible to Denton. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we can get to those areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if it sounds like you've got some new social media pieces coming together, and you know, we we know from even our own coalition's efforts that that those that social media can be such a great tool for reaching populations such as we have in both our counties, right. where people are scattered over large mm -hmm. um, masses of, of of space, and it's not always easy for folks to travel from one meeting location to another in spite right. of their interest and, um, and availability to maybe help, help out. So um, that sounds like a, a, a real opportunity for the future to maybe get some new folks involved with your coalition. Yes. So, um, well, um, Vernon, is there anything else you want to share with the folks who are tuning in um, with us about substance abuse prevention in your community or um, regionally on the shore? I would like to say that one of my goals is to try to put that prevention message in our schools mm -hmm. uh, as much as possible. Um, in particular, um, my goal is to use the SAD model mm -hmm. for our schools, mm -hmm. and my plan is to use the SAD model first in our middle schools. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to see a, um, we have two middle schools in the county. Mm -hmm. I would like to see both middle schools involved with the SAD uh, mm -hmm. model program, mm -hmm. and then expand that to the high schools. Mm -hmm. And my goal, my overall goal is to have a self-sufficient running program in both middle and both high schools and then take those efforts and at a later time maybe be able to uh, piggyback and do some programming some um, programs in the uh, elementary schools mm -hmm. so hopefully we can use that model to um, spread the message even more mm -hmm. let the kids sort of lead the charge yes. in their own mm -hmm. communities so yes. to speak there at that in their own schools. That would be great. Yes. Well, Vernon, thank you so much for, for joining us. And um, and again, the phone number to reach you or, and to contact the Carol, or to reach Tony is? Will be 410-479-3501. Okay. Now that's my direct line. Mm -hmm. um, at this time, I cannot remember Tony's direct <laughs> line. 
<laughs> <laughs> so if you call me, even if you get my voicemail, we'll transfer it over. Tony will have it, and he'll be able to answer your questions. Okay, that's great. Well, yeah. thank you so much for staying tuned with us and listening to um, Vernon Spriggs join us from Caroline County talking about uh, regional substance abuse prevention efforts. Thank you. You're welcome.